All right, here we go. <clears throat> so we already know already, right? We're doing a border already. I'm just gonna lay out. This is the same as that side. So I'm just gonna focus on one side to give you kind of close idea what's happening over here. All right, on this side here, we know originally we came up a half an inch. We told you to come in horizontally, right? Do your horizontals first. Because if you do your horizontal layout first, all right, burn it half an inch, come over this side half an inch. I can stay within my border and van this out. And then when I did that, I did it up top as well, right? That's how we get away with using benchmarks. And when another one you can look at is once you do that, then you can set up your vertical, right? And with your vertical, again, you wanna do up a half an inch or a burn, whatever, put it on nine, whatever number you wanna use to help you do that, as long as you know you're moving up a half an inch. So I went up a half an inch and I came down another quarter inch so I can do my title block, um, yeah, subtitle block here. Then I went up a half an inch because where my wall's gonna, my sub plate gonna be at. Then I came down an eighth of an inch because that's going to be the bottom of my bottom of my uh, floor joist. I mean, uh, sole plate, a bottom plate. All right. Then from this point, since I got it on eight, I went up six because I'm dealing with a 12 by 15 wall in this particular one. And then I went up a quarter of an inch because I know that my top double top plate and double top plate. So I went up a quarter of an inch because it's eighth of an inch is my wall. Then I came down an eighth of an inch and then I had this already. So I don't have to worry about tracing this out again as I got it already. So I did it over here as well. And again, I was a half an inch because it's my outside title grid and I went up a quarter of an inch for my subtitle going there. So at this point, you guys go ahead and start doing that, laying that out. Um, and we'll get right into it. All right guys, so you might be looking like, what? Is this dude doing switching it up a little bit all right so keep these videos short i'll be doing intermediate uh corrections outside of the camera to give you guys more tutorial because a lot goes into this i'm gonna keep these videos kind of short and not to drag on like five or six videos all right so just to run you through this right quick what i've done is exactly what i had it marked originally right did all my mark out bottom plate my double top plate, everything else. You said, why would you run my lines long? And this particular reasons, we're gonna start putting uh, more advanced stuff together, um, like doors, windows, everything. It just makes it easier. Just I can just erase a couple of lines that are trying to go back and forth and put this in there later. So I just did it for right now. It all depends on again how you want to approach your drawings. You might not do this the way. This is the way I use to keep myself in order, <laughs> just at this particular time. Uh, our layout will be three quarters of an inch layout. Still the same thing. I'll also do this. I told you guys to get a wet nap to get the graphite off your fingers. Get you a dry towel or something. Dry your towel, your hand off. That way, so when you're touching your paper, you don't get your paper all with the uh, graphite all around. It's going to happen throughout the thing. And also, it's a good way to stay sanitary, too. Sanitize it everywhere. All right. <clears throat> now, we can get right into drawing our studs, right? So again, you know how we did the layout. What we did the individual layout, started from center. We're gonna have 12 studs going here because we're using a 12 by 15 wall. Still, still the same. You're gonna lay this thing out three quarter of an inch, both ways. You're gonna have that extra stud. Well, this extra stud at this point is gonna be used for something else at the end of some other time or in the door opening or something like that because of the fact that we actually gonna put adjacent, we're gonna put a door in here. So it's gonna be adjacent. Door is gonna be a center but usually what happens is you got to add more studs to compensate for the actual um, door itself and the header and everything else what you're going to talk about in a second and the difference between what you would do on paper and what's going to happen in actuality is going to be one of the biggest factors you're going to have to keep in mind when you're doing drawings because you're drawing to scale and then the person is doing a layout, actual layout, will be drawing to actual layout. So they're going to have to include more things than actually was on, your, on a paper. This is some of the tricks of the trade, this trade off. With you just drawing like a 2030, which I'll explain in a second, or they will have to add additional measurements to the layout from what you originally put in. So you'll draw strictly what it is, the 3040, which is basically the door opening. So this 30, which is, you know what I'm saying is this is, 
but I mean 3-0. This is what established. It's saying that this is a three foot door. It's the foot sign. It says three feet. 3-0 is three feet. And you split it both ways, right? Let's see. It's 36 inches. If you look at feet, right? This is the the example I'm talking about. Three feet is 36 inches. That's what a 3 0 is. Right? So when you land this thing out, you're saying 3 0, which is three feet, which is also 36 inches. Feet and then inches. If you, some people like inches, some people like feet. So that's what I'm trying to establish what it is. That's the door opening of your, that's your door opening. And again, it's gonna vary as we go through this uh, design work. So again, that's why I'm intimately pausing things and do layouts, tell you what I'm doing, and come back and show you some of these steps that you already can pick up on other videos as well. All right, so if we wanna take half of three feet, Looking at one foot six, one foot six is also called 18 inches, right? So you'll say 18 divided by two. So 18 plus 18 is 36. And also is this divided by two equals one foot six inches. This is gonna play a good factor when we start laying out this door opening. Again, there's a mean of egress, the so 36. 18 inches is 36 inches. And to turn, take, convert this into inches, we're looking at divided by two is 18 inches. And you want to convert, if you like feet, you can just take three feet divided by one foot six. That means I'll find my center. I'm going one foot six this way and one foot this six this way. But we know our scale is a half inch uh, door scale going to be different. We're actually going to use a quarter inch equals three inches to get our door in. So our scale is going to be for our door. is a quarter inch equals three inches. Again, our door statistic for purposes for this particular one, we're doing that. Then you convert that over into feet and inches. So we do we just keep adding it up. It just it'd be easier for me to describe this to you guys in, in this form of fashion. And our height of our door is six foot eight. Or we might use 82 and a half for the height of our door. So eighty-two and a half. And then our width would be I don't know if I'm gonna do six foot, three feet on this one. I'll just go ahead and use a different. I'm just gonna make it up. Let's make it up. I'll do 40 and a half. But again, just rule of thumb. This is your. This would be. And this. It's what usually door openers going to be. For this drawing purpose, we're gonna actually shrink it down to these measurements here. 82 and a half, 40 and a half, 40 and a half, just to give you a kind of clean way of doing it on a drawing itself and then and again more we get advanced to drawings this is just we'll get more into it but at this point um, these numbers seem to work out for my drawing just to give you an example of what you'll do on a job site these are actual measurements it needs to be for a door opening again it nine out of ten you're doing this 
for front doors. I have seen some doors in old school model. They didn't have, they had 32 openings, which is not by code. So they might have grandfathered in because it was, that's what it was doing before regulations kept, took in place, municipalities changed. And they do a, a lot of, uh, yeah, just, it depends on municipality too. Some things are grandfathered in, but if you do change anything on a house, you gotta bring it up to code. So do keep that in mind. But for today's purposes, we're gonna use these two numbers, 82 and a half, 40 and a half. And we're gonna use a quarter inch scale equals three inches. All right, before we get all into that, we're gonna fall back and put the studs in. So again, three quarter an inch, fine center. Layout is gonna be three quarter an inch, 16 on center. Um, nothing changed there. We're also gonna put in our, our corner posts on here as well. As well. So we'll stick that in as well. So a lot of things will be happening. Fire blocks going here as well. And we're gonna have another video just laying out, putting all of the dimensions, um, dimensions and uh, labeling and everything else. So it'll be a subtle part of videos. All right, so take this time out to establish your studs. I'm gonna do the first one with you. Yeah, well, come back and we'll give some time to catch up. So you're gonna be laying out all your studs. Take time to wipe your hands off. Keep in mind when I told you guys, studs become, studs become door cripples or bottom cripples for windows. That's why I'm still laying all these all out like it is at this point in my drawing. I can easily show you how to convert it over instead of how to fight and doing all this erasing stuff. All right, so go ahead and start laying these out like we always been doing. 